The Von Arc Reflection System is an easy to use, easily transportable cable fault location device. It allows trained users to quickly isolate faulted primary underground cable. This video will highlight some basic operation features of the Von. If you have operation questions once you're on a job site, please contact your Von representative. In the West Region, contact James Landers at 352-408-9630. In the East Region, Canada and International Inquiries, contact Jerry Landers at 352-408-7890. If you can't reach your representative, a number for the Vaughn Corporation and brief operational instructions are listed on the inside lid of your system. One very important note, the Vaughn Corporation recommends that operators use all of the safety measures demonstrated in this video. However, nothing supersedes the safety regulations of your company. If there is a conflict, always follow the safety rules and regulations of your company. The Von Arc Reflection System combines a user-friendly cable radar with a capacitive discharge unit in a compact, lightweight, portable package that's easily transported in virtually every truck, van, or SUV. The Von system is non-destructive to facilities because there's no need for additional fault current surges and that means it does not impact customers with unnecessary momentary or sympathetic relays. And employees are not exposed to a flash. Let's see how easy it is to use the Vaughn system to sectionalize a faulted cable section. But before we begin, here's two safety notes. If possible, all hookups should be performed using a hot stick and or properly rated rubber gloves, depending on your utility's requirements. We'll illustrate the hookup on a typical dead front pad mount transformer. Before you begin, remember the far end of the loop being tested must be parked and or open, not grounded. Begin by cleaning enough of the neutral bundle so two connections can be made. The green safety case ground Vaughn provides and the approved grounding jumper device that your company uses. Cleaning the connections is the most important step of the hookup process. Notice the lineman cleans the grounds and the concentric neutral of the cable under test. Vaughn recommends using a feed-through device so the parking bushing is removed and the feed-through installed. Make sure the cable that's not being tested has a bushing cap or cover to avoid inserting the high voltage lead into the wrong bushing. You can see here how close the feed through is to the transformer bushing. That's why it's critical that any open bushing be covered with an approved bushing cover as illustrated here. Using a hot stick, the elbow is inserted into the feed through and a grounding elbow is installed into the open bushing. Some utilities test from the parking bushing by removing the access port cap. Then, using an approved voltage meter or detection device, test the other side of the feed-through or test port to ensure the cable is de-energized. After you complete the testing, be sure to insert a grounding elbow in the feed-through. You're now ready to hook up the leads from the Vaughn. One quick note, be sure the green safety case ground is uncoiled fully before beginning the hookup. Begin by attaching the green safety case ground. Then, connect the high voltage return to the concentric neutral on the cable being tested as close as possible to the cable termination point. Next, remove the grounded elbow and finally insert the brass elbow probe attached to the high voltage lead into the bushing. You're now ready to begin the sectionalizing process. The operation of the Von Arc Reflective System, regardless of your model type, is essentially the same. Brief step-by-step -step hookup and operating instructions are located on the inside lid of the Von Reflective System for easy reference, including the phone number for the Von Corporation. For sectionalizing, set the voltage indicator to the maximum position, then switch to the lowest voltage. Unless you have model 25 or 28, then leave the voltage indicator at its lowest setting. Place the unit in radar mode, check the battery to make sure it's fully charged and turn it on. The unit then marks the end of the cable run. To reveal where the transformers are located, push the range button 
and adjust the gain until the transformer marks are easily identified. In this case, there are five transformers marked on the screen. Now press the start button. The unit will charge to the set voltage and discharge. You'll see two traces. Push the trace button and use the arrow keys to move the lower trace in line with the upper trace. If the traces are the same, as they are in this case, there's no fault on this section of the loop. You would press stop and move to the next quarter point and test the other portion of the loop. Repeat the setup and sectionalizing steps and test to the normal open. You should shoot to the feed side first and then shoot to the normal open. Press the range button and the transformers are marked. Again, adjust the gain. Now push the start button. The unit will charge to the set voltage then discharge. This time a fault is located at 381 feet indicated by the downward spike on the trace and it appears as if the fault is between the second and third transformer. The real-time feature of the Vaughn sectionalizer allows users to verify they've isolated the fault. From this screen, press the start button. Do not push the stop button. The unit now displays a live radar trace with the fault still marked. In this example, a lineman goes to the third transformer and removes the incoming elbow, and the Vaughn marks the process with an upward spike. He then goes to the second transformer and opens it. Note how the upward spike is inside the fault location line. The real-time trace is verified to the lineman the fault is isolated between the second and third transformer. Therefore, power can be restored to the remaining parts of the loop and your customers are back in service. Many features of the Vaughn Arc Reflection System can be adjusted to fit your utility's needs. You can change the range of the radar trace from 500 feet to a maximum of 48,000 feet. Some models have a maximum range of 24,000 feet. The velocity of propagation is based on a percentage of the speed of light and is set at the factory at 53.0% for extruded cable. If you're testing paper and lead cable, you can adjust the velocity from 38.0 to 48.0%. You can also manipulate the left and right markers. Simply push the key next to the one you want and then use the arrow keys to move it in the direction you desire. For example, after testing for a fault, if the fault is not automatically marked by the right marker, press the trace button and move it up to the upper trace line. Then press the right marker and using the arrow keys, move the right marker to the left, just in front of the downward spike. That will give the distance to the fault from the test point. The Vaughn also comes with three adapters for the high voltage lead. The brass elbow probe is for dead front equipment. Next is a hotline clamp, which can be used at a riser pole or switch cabinet. Both of these attachments are preferred. However, a third vice grip attachment is included if the brass elbow probe or hotline clamp cannot be used. When not in use, the bond should be plugged in to keep the battery fully charged. But if the battery is discharged, the power cord can be plugged into any 120 volt source including an inverter or generator, and the bond will operate and charge simultaneously. There's also a 12 volt DC connection and cable that allows you to use a 12 volt DC source. Remember, after completing any test using the Vaughn Arc Reflection System, press the red stop button, verify the voltmeter reads zero, and the stop gap is closed. And when disconnecting the unit leads from the transformer, be sure to discharge the voltage by firmly touching the lead probe on the system neutral ring bond to drain off any capacitance remaining on the unit. Always follow the safety rules and regulations of your utility. Given its many features, durability, portability, and ease of use, it's easy to see why the Vaughn Arc Reflection System is fast becoming the preferred method for cable fault locating and loop sectionalizing. Call us. We'll be happy to give you a complete demonstration.